Despite the bankruptcy of the legendary gaming company Midway in 2009, their legacy still lives on thanks to a slew of compilations of many of their arcade classics. From the Super Nintendo to the PSP, no console seems to be safe from some form of their quarter-munching back catalog, but the Midway Arcade Treasures series released for the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube seem to be the more comprehensive collections available to date. I've already reviewed Part 1, in fact, that was my first review ever for CGR Undertow. And finally, after an entire year, I guess I've practiced these 20 games enough to bring you a look at Midway Arcade Treasures 2. So with this collection you get 20 games, most of which are some of their hits from the late 80s and early 90s, as opposed to the first volume focusing mostly on their work from the early 80s. There are a few crusty classics like Wacko and Wizard of War, but the more popular titles from this include Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, Narc, Arch Rivals, Xenophobe, Zybots, Primal Rage, Rampage World Tour, and Total Carnage, and a handful of others that have maybe since drifted off into obscurity. But overall, there's a good balance of gameplay, with plenty of fighting games, shooting games, racing games, and sports games to keep you busy. But the selection overall isn't quite as strong as Volume 1, as there's a lot on here that is a bit more laughable than playable. I'm looking at you, Pit Fighter. There's also bonus content like the usual promo materials and video clips for many of the games, although the video clips are still pretty low quality and very grainy looking. The interface has also been tweaked, no more weird hieroglyphics menu anymore, and instead you've got a much cleaner look to everything. There are some issues with the start button, however, since sometimes it presses start in game and sometimes it brings up the interface menu to switch games. Because of this, you can't play as smoke in Mortal Kombat 2 anymore, and there's no random select. Finisher. It's a small thing to nitpick, but unfortunately there are other bigger problems you'll encounter with many games depending on which version you're playing. Most of the games here are actually emulated, not ports, so there are a lot of sound and graphics glitches in various games, most notably in the Mortal Kombat's, Narc, Primal Rage, and Pit Fighter. They're not so bad to make them unplayable by any means, but it is a bit annoying sometimes to not be able to experience these just like they played in the arcades. Console-specific issues include a reduced frame rate on hard drive-in for the PS2, Wizard of War slowdown and sound glitches on the GameCube, and numerous others. The Xbox version seems to suffer from the least number of issues, so if you have a choice, that's probably the one to go for. Despite those problems, there are still some really awesome games included here, and you can probably find a used copy of this collection for less than 10 bucks, a price well worth it for Zybots alone. Hell, I remember spending almost that much money in quarters just to beat NARC back in the day. Whoa. 